you guys, how you doing? My name is Darla Rodriguez and welcome to my channel. I am so excited because I have a new product today, it launched last week. So sit back, subscribe, and let's get into this new mascara from Marc Jacobs. my Sills Booster, which I know Mark makes a wonderful lash primer. This is not taking away from his primer. I just, you guys that have watched me know that I am in love with Lancome Sills Booster, so I do have that on. And here is the mascara. It's black and gold, absolutely beautiful packaging. I mean, his packaging anyway, like everything that he does, I love it. It says Mark Jacobs right here. The brush is, as you would think of a lengthening and curling mascara, which that's what this is. Not too fancy, not too full with the brush, which makes sense. They want you to grab it from the lash and pull so you get that lifting and curling of the volume from the mascara. So I am going to do that right now. And while I am putting it on, I am going to talk about it a little bit. This is his brand new mascara. It launched last week. It's $27. It's very creamy. I can tell you that right now just from putting it on. It is vegan. It has biotin peptides, pro vitamin B5. It's smudge resistant and flake resistant. We'll have to see with a wear test, right? But that's what it says. And it's lengthening and curling. Of course, it says with multiple layers, you will not get clumpy. It'll just make it more volumizing. Okay, that's a pretty mascara. So there is, that's a, like a one and a half coat because I did dip back in. I'm going to give it another go. So he did talk about, I, I have of course read on it a little bit before I purchased. I like to read on it. Although you guys, anybody that knows me knows I love Marc Jacobs. I loved Marc Jacobs before Marc Jacobs Beauty. I love his bags. I love his clothes. I, I just am a fan. And, um, so when I was looking at this mascara saying it was going to be launched, I love to look at what inspires him to create things. Wow. This is a nice mascara. I love the little brush. So when he was creating this, he was inspired by, you know, just those iconic actresses with the naturally gorgeous long lashes and really long on top also with lash extensions so we wanted to make a mascara that would give you that look now what they say on the site which it's super black i do love it and it's defining and i love that um what they say on the site is you can build it and it will not get clumpy it just gets more intensified which I am agreeing with that. Man, it's so smooth. You know how when you start to reapply mascara and it's not made to do that or you didn't know it wasn't made to do that, it hurts your lashes. It's almost like you're pulling them out. You're not feeling that with this at all. It's nice and smooth and creamy, yet giving me, oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, it's a really pretty mascara, um, yet giving me that length and de definition. You see that it's fatter on this end here and goes to a narrow tip. So the narrow part, they say that you can get in there, which I naturally do this. I don't know if you guys, you know, some might, you pick up different techniques. You can get in there and really separate it with the tip without it getting everywhere. And same with down here. Now I am gonna do the right side and I'm going to add their pro tip that they have online, 
where I'm going to top it with the Velvet Noir mascara, which is his other mascara that's very volumizing. So I'm gonna give this a good couple coats. I have the at lash on both. And then on this right side, I am going to add the um, Velvet Noir. That's his other mascara that's just more drama. The brush, everything about the formula is just more. And let's see what it looks like. I'm not really getting in there because I already got to the roots with the lengthening. I'm just kind of coating it to see how much volume I can get with the volumizing mascara on top. So there you have both. Can you guys see a difference? I don't know. I really like the lightness and the feel of it. Again, both formulas I'm noticing, they're super creamy. And um, I, appreci I appreciate that about mascaras. Honestly, that's the main difference I see when you're doing like more drugstore brand compared to prestige brands. That formula is going to be so creamy that it just gets in there and gets to your lashes. Yeah, I can totally tell the difference between the lashes here and the lashes here. These are more defined, which they're supposed to be. And then this is just more drama, more volume, thickness to the lash. So this one is the new one by itself, at lashed, by itself, at lashed with Velvet Noir. And I love them both. I have not worn either, so the, the wear test for me is flaking. Normally when it's a flaking mascara, it's flaking like immediately. So again, because of the smoothness and the like the velvety, great name, velvety creaminess of it, I'm hoping it doesn't flake. And then we'll see smudge because I do eye cream and I do concealer. Usually that's when you'll get smudging underneath. So here we go. I'm gonna wear it, um, of course, Check in on my Instagram, find out what I think. You know, this is just a wear test. I wanna share about the product and just what it looks like initially on here. And then check me out on Instagram, it's Rod Squad Girl. And I will let you know how it wore. So the price on this is $27. When you get up to Prestige mascaras, they're gonna be within that mid 20 to 30 range. So I feel like that's right in there with it. I don't think it's too pricey. But again, that, that's, that's a very personal thing. For me, I, I think it's right into the ballpark of what I would spend on a mascara. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.